YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Josh, and I'm here back with another video. And if you're new and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you leave before the end of this video. But anyways, in this video, I'm going to be giving myself a haircut. As you guys can see, I'm looking super bad. Like, I got my mustache all, like, messed up. And look at the hair under there. I, I need to get, I need to get right. So, it's only best to do it while we're on this quarantine. I ain't got nobody else to do it, so I'm going to do it for myself. So let's hop right into this video. So YouTube, like I said, you know, I'm going to be doing my own haircut here in this video. First time thing for me. Well, not for me, but for you guys, really. But um, I'm not really going to be doing too much talking, kind of narrating just a little bit over little spots. I really want you guys just to watch and have a cool, entertaining video of me actually cutting my own hair. But right now I'm taking my one guard all the way open. I'm just gonna go with the grain all over the head. That's gonna be the height that I'm cutting my hair to. So I'll let you guys sit back and watch and I'll be back in in a few. So right here, I'm going to be setting in my bald line, just like I do every time I cut my client's hair. Um, I'm giving myself a taper, so I'm just doing a bald line with my cordless detailers on both sides and in the back. Um, it's crazy, but I haven't really cut my hair by myself in a while. It's been a long time, but from doing it, I can kind of feel like the seriousness of it, just as if I was cutting a client. Um, this haircut came out super nice and I want you guys to just sit and watch through this whole process because like I really just took my talents and just did it on myself. It's crazy. Um, the mirror played a lot of tricks on me right here on the neck taper. I really messed up. But um, all in all, like I really just it's crazy how this haircut came out, how good it actually came out. If I can get used to cutting my own hair, I mean like. I don't have a doubt that I could get really, really good at it to the point where people would think somebody else is cutting your hair, bro. Nah, I'm cutting my own hair. Um, so I might do a part two or a part three, you know, of this. Let me know if I should do that because I really, I really had fun doing it. It just took me so long. It was like over an hour. But I really feel like if I really just keep practicing and keep getting better at it, that I can get it done like in 30 to 45 minutes, maybe. I say 45 minutes 30 minutes maybe was a stretch but really um you know it came out dope but anyways right now to catch up on the haircut I'm sitting there my next guideline going up about half an inch with my cordless wall magic clips with no guard on with it all the way open doing this on both sides then I'm gonna go in and take that guideline out and move up in my guard So throughout this haircut, um, as you guys may notice, uh, I mean, it's just like doing a regular haircut on the client. Like every step I do on them, I did it on myself. The only difference I did in this haircut is that I didn't do any down fading. I didn't fade down at all in this video because from the angles uh, you have when you're cutting your own hair, it's very hard to see guidelines like really clearly, like straight on. You kind of looking at it from the side the whole time um really so i didn't want to do any fading down on this because i wouldn't be able to see my guidelines as clearly and i felt like it might have been more choppy looking if i would have did it that way because i wouldn't have the same efficiency and the vision that i do have when i'm doing that on a client so on this haircut i just went up in my guards and i just met at the top guard so my biggest guard was a number two guard, basically. A number two guard fades right into a number one open, 
with the grain like seamlessly so all i did was fade up into a number two guard basically and that was my process of getting this fade in without pushing it too high um yeah so just stick around keep watching i hope you guys are enjoying this video i'll come back in in a few So right now I'm almost done with the tapers on the left and right side of my head. Um, right now I'm focusing on finishing the top guideline that we created with the one and a half and the number two guard. Blending it in with the one open. Um, really trying to make that blend look very, very good. But um, we're about to move on to the back in a few. So just keep watching. As you guys can see, this is kind of harder than what I thought it would be. I'm really having a hard time. Not really, but I know this back, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing that last. As you guys seen, I messed it up. So that back, man, it's gonna be a task, but let's finish getting this taper out. So here we are beginning our guideline in the back um to be honest i want to say doing the back was the hardest part of this fade um the more i did it i got more efficient with it um really just getting a feel for it because in the mirror i'm telling you it plays tricks on you it's like you want to feel reality but you're looking at the mirror but the mirror is like opposite or whatever it is upside down flip turned around i don't know what it is man it just throws you off so you kind of have to get that natural feeling first of doing it as if there were no mirror in front of you because once you look into the mirror and try to think think reality it's the, the complete opposite i promise and it's crazy but um in the back you see how high it is man when i set in that bald line i really set it in very high on the right side so i had to go in on the left side and lift it up a little bit more but once we get done blending this it's not going to look as high especially when i put the uh the neckline on it man it's gonna look super dope i really like the outcome of this haircut and i hope you guys are enjoying this video and if you are leave a comment about something that you like about the video or something i could have did better and also leave a like if, before you leave this video if you don't watch it to the end if you liked it just leave a like that'll help me out a lot you guys um a lot of you guys interaction with my content really helps my channel grow and if you're not a subscriber and you like what I do, please hit that hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because in my channel, man, I'm, I'm delivering dope haircut tutorials. And as you can see, self haircuts. I, this is my first time doing this. But if you want to see more hair um, haircut videos, haircut tutorials on different styles, different textures of hair, this is the channel for you. And also, I can teach you how to cut your own hair. Even though this video isn't like a real tutorial, it's kind of like just like a narrating overview of what I'm doing. It's kind of hard to break down this video because it's so hard. But I might do a tutorial for you guys if you ever wonder on cutting your own hair. Let me know. Hey y'all, we're getting close to the end of this haircut. It's almost time for me to do that lineup. But as you can see, we're blending this line out right now. 
I got my number one guard on, just fading up into the bulky area. Really trying to get that blend looking good, looking good. Even though it's really hard to do, working on the back of your head, man, it hurts your arms. It strains your eyes a little bit. But we're going to get it done and we're not going to give up. So let's keep watching. Right here, I'm just fading my beard in. I'm doing the complete opposite of what I did on my taper. It's the same thing, but it's just in the opposite direction. YouTube, so now that we done with the fade, you seen the process, we had a kind of a hard time. That's like my first time doing this in a long time, but anyway, we're about to get into our lineup process, the most interesting part. Let's see if I might mess up my hairline. I don't know, man. I got like a little dance spot right here. Let's find out. I'm scared, y'all, for real. I think I'm finna mess myself up, man. Let me see, so. I got an Eddie Monster right here, so the line is like right there. So this is not a pushback. What I'm finna do is not a pushback. And if you see the longer hair is hanging over, so I'm finna cut that. guys man doing this lineup i was so scared especially when i was getting up in the corners it really really scared me because once you get in the corners your hand and the clipper blocks your view so you really can only count on faith and just really believe into yourself really um but we got it done man it was so hard to do that lineup i think this was one of like the second hardest part set aside from doing the back the back neck taper um, right now I'm doing my beard. We're gonna line that up and get it super crispy. So keep watching. To be honest guys, I really thought doing this line on the back of my neck was going to be super hard. But once I started doing it, I got the feel for it. On the left side, it was easier. On the right side, once I got to the top of the arch around the ear, I kind of put it up too far. Um, but I'm going to blend it out and you guys will see that. It's going to look good either way it go. It's a self haircut, man. I, I did real good, man. To be a self haircut, it came out dope. So keep watching y'all. You guys, look at my face. You can tell I'm super serious. Like, laser focused. Like, it's crazy. Like, that was so serious, man. I didn't want my haircut messed up at all. So I had to be locked in and loaded. But, you know, we did it. 
I'm proud of myself right now. I'm getting that little uh, mess up out. I told you guys I did. Other than that, man, we getting this thing together. Look at me with the razor. This is something a lot of people might be scared to do. Um, but you know, it's all about that 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 hand motion, man. That steadiness in your hand, that swiftness, man. That's all it took. Once you get that down pack, man, this junk is a piece of cake. But we got this thing super sharp going in on my lineup one more time. Getting it right before I went up before I put the razor on there. But we got this thing looking good, man. YouTube, that is the cut. Man, this has been a long process. It wasn't easy, but I got it done. Let me got, let me know what you guys think about this haircut, how I did. You see, I got the neckline, the back taper, the other neckline right there, the taper on the side, the line up, and the taper. Look at the beard, man. We got in there with the razor. You see that razor line on there? You know, I did good. I think I did good. So YouTube, after I got done examining my hair from a better view, I realized that I had a lot of dark spots in the back of the fade on the right side. So I'm gonna go in and get those out real quick so I'm be walking around looking crazy. Now, I think that looks way better. Don't it look better than before? Let me know what you guys think on the neck taper. I can't really see good, but I think it look better. But anyways, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, thank you for watching. You know, I know a lot of you guys been wanting me to do a self haircut video. And what better time to do it during this quarantine coronavirus crisis? I hope you guys staying safe out there. But anyways, like I said, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to stay up to date for more videos from me. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Rate my haircut. Let me know how I did on my haircut. Um, I'm really happy with what I did. I think it came out super dope. Um, this was like, you know, a first time thing for me in a long time. I haven't cut my hair in a while. I think I did super good. So, I think you guys will too. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber as seen on the top of this video. It's your boy Josh and I'm out.